Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to graph this inequality and titles of graphs when we have inequalities or equations is just the equation of the inequality. So the title of this first graph I would like you to write y is less than negative 3x plus 5. And referencing these notes that we took already on how to graph inequalities, I want you to just look at the inequality <coughs> and notice it's already in y equals mx plus b form, except instead of an equal sign, we have what kind of a symbol? Less than. Less than. So think about down here, is it going to be a solid line or a broken line? Broken. And is it going to be shaded above or below the line? Below. below. So just looking at that inequality, there's a couple of things to think about before we start graphing. Just like when we're doing this with equations, we start with the plus b, and in this case, the plus b is a positive five. 5. So let's go ahead and put a point on that 5. And what is our slope here? Negative, negative 3. So our line is going to be negative, right? And we're doing 3 over one. for our rise over run. I'm going to drop down 3 and run to the right, because that's going to give me a negative line. I'm also going to go back to my original point and go up three and to the left. It's a pretty steep slope there. Now we need our straight edge. And the temptation here is to draw a line. But remember, it's not equal to, it's less than alone, so it's a dashed line. There's two ways to do this. How many of you are using a pencil? You could draw the line, and then you could go and erase parts of it. Does that make sense? I'm using a pen, so I'm going to make sure I do mine dashed. And I'd like you to have your line go all the way across your graph. Think of that line as a barrier. <coughs> I've seen people get confused about what's the um, upper part of this and what's the lower part of it. I always think about it as where are the positive numbers with my line and where are the negative numbers with my line. And right now I see mostly positives on this side, so I think of that as the upper part and mostly negative, so this is the lower part. And this was a less than, so we're shading on the lower side. So let's shade over there. It doesn't have to be perfectly colored in. You're just showing that all of the solutions that work with this inequality are here. Another way you can look at that is go back to your x-axis. If it's if something is growing in the positive direction, which way do we go on the upper line? We go to the right. Yep. So the x-axis is helping you determine to the right is going to be positive and to the left is going to be negative. Okay, now here's the big thing about the shading. It's fun. We like to color. It's kind of relaxing. But what we're really saying is all of the things, all of the points that make this inequality true are down in this region. So I'm going to just go and make some random points. This one works, this one works. Any point that you could find as a place that would have a coordinate pair in the shaded region makes this inequality true. And I want we're going to just prove it over here. So let me take my point. I've got negative 6, positive 3. So my y would be positive 3 is less than negative 3 let me just write this point so I don't forget what I've got. Negative uh, 6, comma, 3. And notice what I've done is I've taken just one of the points randomly, and I've plugged in the x and the y into the inequality. What is negative 3 times negative 6? 18. Positive 18. Plus 5. Oops, I just put a 5 because I said 5. 18 plus 5 is? 
So three is less than 23. Is that a true statement? Mm -hmm. And so that's a way to check and make sure that the area that you shaded actually has answers for that inequality. We could have chosen any point in here and taken that X and that Y and plugged them into the, the original inequality. Thumbs up if that makes sense to you guys. This is like shading on the number line when it's just like X is less than or equal to four, right? And we shade everything that could be. Why do you think this is dashed? Because the points on this line won't be true. Because it's not equal to. Okay? All right, I'm going to give you guys one to shade, graph and shade. I'd like you to title the next one, y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 5. 